Hey guys, still figuring out here. In this video, I'm going to do a comparison of the Toy Biz Kingpin and the Hasbro BAF Kingpin. Let's go! Here I have with me the Toy Biz Kingpin from the Face Off series and the Hasbro BAF Kingpin. So the Toy Biz one actually has a black variant which I did a video on. Is the black variant so yeah and the uh, it comes with the chain he, he comes with the his cane and for the BAF it comes with the uh, alternate head and also his his uh, cane or his his stick so yeah now you can see over here that the BAF is definitely uh, of better size is bigger and look at this it doesn't uh, he doesn't look fat. He just look very bulky and big. So I feel that's how Kingpin should be portrayed instead of this uh, big tummy cheeseburger fella guy or something. Yeah. Here's a back view of the figure. Um, there's a hole at the back of the Toy Beast Kingpin because that's where the uh, Toy Beast stand sticks inside uh, this pack so that he can kind of do a pose or something with uh, Daredevil. So yeah, that's why there's a hole over there. So this is definitely be better. It's cleaner, and and you know all white. Looks like he just got his attire from the laundry. Here's another difference, which is uh his ring on his pinky. So uh the Hasbro has just a plain red uh ring, but the Toy Biz has this gold ring with I don't know what kind of uh design or inscription that is this black mark thing because it's actually the same for the black variant. Yeah, so like I don't know what what is supposed to be. Is it like WF or I, I I don't know, but anyways, the Hasbro red ring is definitely better looking than the Toy Biz ring. Yeah. Now let's take a look at his stick. So you see over here that the stick of the Hasbro one is so so much better. It even has this crystal thingy at the top and it's uh, kind of it, it narrows down to the bottom. Whereas for this one, it looks like some sort of stylus for a tablet. And I don't know what it does it just doesn't look as great. Lah. You know this is so, so much better the Hasbro version than the Toy Biz one. I'm not so sure whether this is like comic accurate or something, that this Toy Biz version, but even if it's comic accurate, this is like so much looks so much better the Hasbro stick or the Hasbro cane yeah and of course for the Hasbro because there's no longer the finger uh, joint it's so much easier to just slot it in and make the kingpin hold it next up articulation so the toy beast has a waist swivel single hinge elbow joint no wrist swivel for the for the hands um, there's a finger joint as usual, a trademark of Toy Biz figures. Toe hinge joint, another trademark of Toy Biz figures. The, the leg can be moved, rotate left and right and move this way. Double hinge knee joint and the shoulder, uh, sorry, the hip ball joint. Again, another kind of trademark of Toy Biz figures. The Hasbro doesn't have a waist swivel, but it has a mid torso joint. It can't really, it can't look up and down, but it can just swivel left and right. So the head is able to look up more than the toy beast. So yeah, that's one thing I forgot. The toy beast can't really look up and down. Yeah, that's that's all. That's it. But this one can look up and down, definitely better. It has a single hinge joint, but it can rotate left and right. Wrist definitely better because it can rotate also. Uh, again, this is another single hinge joint, but it's able to swivel left and right too. Oops, it can come off easily, but it can be put back easily. And uh, yeah, ankle rocker, but the ankle rocker is kind of restricted restricted by the scalp of the pants. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of a bit difficult to rotate the ankle because these pants restricts the movement but you still can kind of force it so yeah 
So that's the articulation difference between these two. And for me, I prefer the Hasbro articulation. Now, here's a look at his uh, angry face. So the variant, I don't know how come his lips looks, he looks kind of like he has a uh, dark lipstick on or something. Yeah, so yeah, both of them have a good angry face and actually both of them has good details. Over here, he has all those frowns and lines on his face. And actually, so does the Hasbro head. Yeah, so for this angry face, uh, both of them did well, but again, I still prefer the Hasbro simply because of the size of the figure. So here's a size comparison with uh, Pizza Spider-Man. The new Kingpin, I definitely prefer the size of the new Kingpin. He's definitely towering over Spider-Man unlike um, the Toy Biz Kingpin which is just kind of one head taller than him. And you can see over here that the stick can be held by the, toy, by the Hasbro Kingpin um, and it looks nice unlike the stylus of the toy beast kingpin which i don't know what he's trying to do over here it's quite difficult to make him hold the stick even in this uh in this pose so yeah overall so yeah overall i definitely prefer the baf kingpin he is definitely a bit bigger in size better proportion he doesn't look fat he, he looks big and bulky he has a better stick i feel that he has better articulation um, the only thing is that he is not his retro look. Uh, this is his kind of first appearance look. This is his modern look. But I still prefer this Hasbro version. I'm definitely looking forward to the new vintage wave. It's going to come out later this year. Do check out this video for his head swap with the Shadow King head. Shadow King alternate head. Yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.